Good luck. I hope we... Uh... Tony, you are a professor of history at uh, Southern Indiana Uni University, and you've been a, a researcher on the Shroud for 15 years, have uh, authored a book entitled The Shroud of Turin. And uh, my question for you is, um, I would like for you to comment on some of the historical uh, considerations uh, in, involved in, this, in the key issue of being able to link the Mandelian cloth with the Shroud of Turin, and in so doing would establish a sixth century date at the very least? Russ, that's a very good question. The Mandelian or holy face of Edessa has been attested in the city of Edessa in southern Turkey possibly ever since the fourth century. And it doesn't prove that uh, there's any linkage with the Shroud at that point, or the Shroud as the burial wrapping of Jesus, but it gets us far earlier than the carbon dating would place the shroud. In any case, uh, it was, uh, this cloth was attested at Edessa as early as the fourth century. It's reputed to be a face of Jesus on a cloth that was imp impressed on the cloth by Jesus himself. Uh, so it, if the legends are correct, it would go all the way back to the time of Jesus. Well, in 944, after spending perhaps 900 years in the city of Edessa, the Byzantine government sent an army there and extorted it from the Edessenes and took it to Constantinople. Um, once it was in Constantinople, it was copied. We no longer have this Mandelian or holy face of Edessa. It's gone somewhere, but it was copied, and the copies of it uh, uh, suggest uh, that it may well indeed have been the Shroud of Turin, but folded up in eight layers uh, with only the, the layer that had the face of the shroud man uh, showing and then placed behind a gridded frame uh, so that uh, for a long time no one knew exactly what it was that it was really the shroud of Jesus. So it may have been folded in this rectangular gridded frame for centuries in Edessa before it came to Constantinople. And one of the recent discoveries about the face of Edessa which does link it to the shroud is that when it arrived in Constantinople, a description of it, two descriptions of it were made. One of them is old, it's well known, and it describes the face of the Mandelian as very faint, difficult to perceive, not made by any ordinary paints, but apparently a moist secretion. So that is a description of the face of Edessa, or Mandelian, which really, in fact, describes the shroud of Turin's face very accurately. But the second and more recent description, uh, more recently discovered description of that holy face from Edessa says that uh, it was by Gregory, an archdeacon in Constantinople, who participated in the services uh, and the celebration which brought the, the, uh, the Mandelian to Constantinople. And he said, yes, we could see it, and it was very faint indeed, but we could also perceive the blood stains on the face and the blood stain from the wound in the side. So, uh, not in precisely those words, but that is a suggestion that really firmly links up the idea of the folded shroud being in reality the Mandelian. Um, so, I don't know if that's the full answer to your question, but it does get you started. We would have to accept that history is one valid area of shroud research and, ap and appears to be in, in serious conflict with the recent C14 dating. Um, what, what do you, uh, how do you feel that these two things can now be reconciled? Well, obviously there's no easy way to reconcile um, the, the hint of this relationship between the shroud very early in, in the face of Edessa and the, more, and the carbon dating. There's no way of easily reconciling them, but uh, what if, if there's anything to this uh, identification of the shroud and the Mandelian so early, it does tell us uh, that the shroud was in existence uh, long before the carbon dating places it, which would be in the 14th, the 13th or 14th century. Another consideration uh, which uh, relates the shroud to our early times comes through the study of the iconography of the face of Jesus in art. Uh, there have been many, many renderings of Jesus throughout the entire Middle Ages, all before 1200, 
uh, which, uh, in which the pictures of Jesus' face seem to be drawn from the face of the man on the shroud. There are, there are at least 15 very unexpected uh, touches on these faces that seem drawn directly from the shroud face. Um, the work of Alan Wenger at Duke University is very significant in this regard. Um, he has taken uh, at one major painting of Jesus that dates from the 6th century from Mount Sinai Peninsula, uh, the Church of St. Catharines in Mount Sinai, and has found at least 70 points of congruence between the face of the man on the shroud and the face of Jesus, Panto Crator of uh, that church. Uh, when you superimpose the face on the shroud over the face in the icon, uh, one does not see any differences at all. The, sh the icon had to be painted with the shroud as its inspiration. It's almost incontrovertible. It's not exactly hard science, but uh, almost anyone who looks at the face and the, I the, f the icon and the face on the shroud uh, will see immediately the resemblance. And I think that that uh, is a very strong, makes a very strong case for the shroud's existence much earlier than the 13th century. Mount Sinai, this, these points of congruence, as Ian Wilson um, alluded to in an earlier interview, uh, there are several points of congruence, per not, perhaps not quite as many as on the uh, Mount Sinai icon, but with, well, with many other uh, Byzantine icons, all predating uh, the, uh, the 1200s. Um, is that an accurate statement? In the detailed study that Wenger did on several particular icons, one can say that there are these uh, 10 or 15 points that one can see on the shroud face. They, they are soil marks or blood stains or uh, uh, errancies in the weaving, uh, which artists, early artists of the face of Jesus uh, have picked up and put in their, uh, in their own work. And they seem to be taken directly from the shroud. There are some of the things that could not have been conceived of without the shroud as a model such as a, an inverted triangle at the bridge of the nose, which appears in so many icons of Jesus.